Chris, as someone who has done market making in, I think in commodities also have done market making. Options, I've done options market making in commodities, yeah, yes. Yeah, and also in equities, right? So how market making in commodities option is very different, like is different from making market and equities option. Yeah, the, one, one of the biggest, so the, one of the things that jumps out right away, I'll point out the two things that, that are immediately very, very different. One is in equities, you have the idea of a corporate action. So you have dividends, you have, um, um, you can have mergers, you can have, uh, um, basically you can have things that can change the share count in a way. And in, there's no such thing in commodities, a commodity future, because you're trading options, not you're trading options on commodity futures. So there's no concept of a dividend in a commodity future. So that's right away one obvious difference. Another difference there is that uh, when you buy, when you buy a commodity future, you don't have to post the full amount. You post you post margin, post collateral. Um, so your options model is different because it has a completely, uh, it does not need to be concerned with the cost of carry in the same way that a stock option model has to, has to um, account for the cost of carry between uh, interest and dividends. Um, and then you get, you get to the, and then the really, I think the really, really big one, which is where that can really, um, the thing that warps equity traders minds when they go to the commodity markets is that in the in the commodity markets every option contract re references a different underlier so for example if i trade a december option or a june option on nvidia it's the same underlier it's nvidia which means that the arbitrage relationships between those contracts have um there's some hard arbitrage relationships there like the december option cannot be worth less than the june option this, this is impossible or it would be it would be free money if that were the case because the because the the all of the volatility that is encompassed by june is also encompassed by december so you cannot have a time spread that trades for a credit in commodities every option refers to a different underlying future this is not this is like i'll use energy as an example it's, it, it's a little bit it can be a little bit different depending on the commodity that, that's another thing is that all the commodity future option specs are different depending on the underlying asset whereas like in equity it's all standardized so for example if you're trading natural gas options your january natural gas options refer to the january future your um june option refers to a june future and the properties of those underlying futures vary so much so that you can actually have calendar spreads that trade for uh, a credit. You can have, um, and also because the underlying prices are different. So if, let's just say, uh, you might have more time to expiration on the longer one, but what if that futures contract is 20% higher than the, than the other futures contract? Its straddle is going to inherit that 20% premium in the price. So its price will be, the straddle price will be higher. Um, so, sorry, I should reverse it. The near, if the nearer dated was a higher price. So the nearer dated straddle will be very expensive because the price is so high, but it has less time to expiration. So you could end up in a situation where that near dated option actually has more premium in it than the longer dated option. And the other thing is the volatilities do not have to relate at all. Uh, you know, the, the volatility in, June um, natural gas has nothing to do with what the volatility will be in the winter. You have two different seasons, one where we're building gas supply and one where we're drawing down gas supply. There's no relationship between uh, between those periods of time. So uh, that is probably the largest difference in commodity options that the calendars behave completely different than they do in equities. They're, 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 uh, in equities, they're far better behaved. 